Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss a new feature in Microsoft Excel for Microsoft 365 subscribers. I'm also going to put a link in my YouTube description of this support article that I found from Microsoft, what's new in Microsoft 365. If you recall last month, which was April, Microsoft Office 365 became Microsoft 365, so that's the new name. I'm going to cover this very first one later this week because it's a Word feature about having your own private copy when you're sharing a Word file, and it's really cool. But today is Tame Your Big Workbook, a brand new feature in Excel. Let's go take a look at it right now. I already have Excel running. Let me pull it up. I already have an Excel file open that has a lot of worksheets. There are formulas, there's charts, there's at least one pivot table in here that I know of. So let's take a look at this new feature. By default, you're usually on the Home tab. I'm going to go to the Review tab, and over in the far left is the Proofing Group. While I'm going through this and covering this new one new feature, I'm going to do a lot of keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to do a couple formulas. I'm going to end up making a chart. So this is a good review for Excel Basic Intermediate 2. But here's the new feature, Review, Workbook Statistics. When I click it, this window pops up and it tells me two main areas. The current sheet followed by the workbook. So the current sheet that I'm on right now is actually just called Sheet 1 in the bottom. The end of the sheet is cell B7, and you can look over there and see that that's true. Sales with data is 14. I can look in A1 to B7, and that's true. No tables in here, and no formulas. So here's my first test. So this is actually really good information. Followed by the workbook stuff, I've got 17 sheets in this file or workbook. They're the ones with data. No tables right now, but I have one pivot table. So I'm going to quickly, just to test this, I'm going to do two formulas on this worksheet. So that should make this formulas go to two. That should change to 1017. I'm going to come back and add a table, which should make that go to one in both table areas. And then I'm going to add a chart. So let's just see if this works. So I'm going to come down here, alt equal is auto sum, and then after that I'm going to do control and quote, which copies the formula directly above it, and I'm going to just change that to average. So there's a formula, and there's a formula in cell B9 and B10. One more, I'm going to use formula text, so you can see the formulas I just did right there. So let's do this again. I'm going to save, review, workbook stats. I have four formulas on the current worksheet. That's true. One, two, three, four, because I had zero. So that changed. By the way, end of the sheet was B7. It is now cell C10, which is also correct. Um, Let's go and do a table. Let's go do a chart. So right now charts are two and tables are zero. For right now, I'm just gonna pull this way down here. I told you, I'm gonna just delete it. Little tip for you, if you delete and you come back to review workbook stats, it's still saying C16. I believe you've gotta do a save first and you do. So I'm going to make this a table, control T. If you're saying, Chris, why do you want to make it a table? Because I get sorting, I get filtering, but also if I make this a table and I chart this right now, Alt F1 will make a chart on the current worksheet. I'm going to go to review, workbook stats, chart one, that's working. 
tables one. By the way, I, I didn't save at that time and it's already picking it up. So, so far so good. The reason I love tables is if I highlight June and I do the next six months of the year, it automatically picks up in the chart. I don't like typing in numbers. I'm gonna put the number 50 and I'm gonna do control enter. It'll put it in every one of those cells. So there we go. Let's so see if our end of the worksheet is cell B13. It is, cool. Cells with data is correct. I've got one table, I've got one chart. Down in the workbook section, it did go from two charts to three charts. Formulas uh, is still correct. Tables is one. Let's go and add a pivot table real quick and see if this jumps the two. Click inside my data, insert, pivot table, table one, new worksheet, down at the bottom, hit OK. Sheet two, there we go. Let's go see if this is right. Pivot tables went from one to two, so that is correct. So, so far so good. Anyway, I wanted to keep this under seven minutes and I have. This is a great feature, review tab, proofing group, workbook stats. It is for Microsoft 365 subscribers. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day. And I'll take a look at that new Word feature when you're sharing a Word file to have your own private copy next week.